Dark Psychology, The Forbidden Secrets of Seduction This video diverges from the typical dark psychology content. Here, our focus is on exploring the forbidden secrets of seduction and leveraging them to forge meaningful connections. For the first time, I'll delve into real-life scenarios to illustrate our points. Consider this an invitation to a daring game, one for those prepared to unlock the hidden forces of persuasion. I'm divulging this information with caution, it's a secret, a gift for those ready to elevate their influence. But be warned, once you grasp the truth, there's no turning back. Are you courageous enough to join me? Strap in, as we delve into the psychological depths, a journey that may veer into controversial territories. Trick number one. Scarcity. Picture yourself as a rare, artisanal creation, people covet you precisely because you're not always readily available. That's the allure of scarcity. However, here's the twist, don't stagnate like a neglected pastry on a shelf. Instead, pursue your passions, lead a fulfilling life, and when you engage with someone, make it meaningful. Be fully present, involved, and leave them yearning for more. Take Michael, for instance. He's passionate about pottery and dedicates himself to classes twice a week. When he meets Sarah at a coffee shop and sparks fly, Michael casually mentions his pottery hobby, highlighting that he attends classes only when his schedule permits. This subtly communicates to Sarah that Michael's life extends beyond their interaction, elevating his appeal and intrigue. Trick number two. Foot in the door. Think back to that friend who gently nudged you into trying kale chips, one bite at a time, that's the foot in the door technique in action. Begin with small steps, like meeting for coffee, and gradually progress towards larger endeavors. This approach taps into our innate desire for consistency, making it easier for others to say yes as the relationship develops. However, it's crucial not to come across as pushy or sleazy. Instead, Focus on making the journey enjoyable, respectful, and centered around fostering a genuine connection. Think of it as planting the seed of friendship and observing it flourish naturally. Take David, for instance. He's keen to ask Ashley out for dinner but feels apprehensive. He starts by casually inviting her for coffee, and after an enjoyable coffee date, he suggests trying a new restaurant. They bond over shared interests, creating a sense of comfort and familiarity that makes the dinner invitation feel like the next logical step. Trick number three. The mystery whisperer. Imagine yourself as a captivating novel, far more intriguing than Twilight. Instead of divulging all your chapters at once, sprinkle enticing tidbits, showcase hidden talents, and maintain an aura of mystery to keep them intrigued. This approach ignites curiosity and sustains interest, akin to the thrill of a chase. However, it's essential to be authentic and avoid cryptic or confusing behavior. Allow others to discover the remarkable person you are gradually, like unwrapping a delightful present layer by layer. For instance, consider Alex and Emily's first date. Alex shares his passion for hiking and recounts a recent solo adventure, skillfully omitting certain details while highlighting exciting elements such as hidden waterfalls and unexpected encounters. This leaves room for Emily's imagination to wander and adds depth to their conversation. Trick number four. Push and pull. At times, it's important to lavish attention on your crush, making them feel like the center of the universe, a gentle push. However, it's equally crucial to step back occasionally, focusing on your own aspirations and allowing them to miss your presence. This introduces a healthy level of uncertainty that keeps the relationship dynamic and thrilling. Your self-assuredness and independence will be valued by your crush, as it demonstrates you're not overly dependent. Yet, maintaining balance is key, avoid completely disappearing, but instead, showcase that you have a life beyond them. For instance, consider Ben and Chloe, who have been dating for a few months. Ben notices Chloe becoming clingy, so he decides to prioritize some personal time, immersing himself in his hobbies and socializing with friends. When they reunite, Chloe is noticeably more engaged and enthusiastic, 
appreciating Ben's sense of independence and individuality. Trick number 5. Triangle of Desire. Nonchalantly bring up the fact that others find you intriguing. People tend to desire what others desire, it's akin to having social proof on steroids. However, refrain from boasting or displaying jealousy, instead, subtly convey that you're a desirable individual with options. This adds a dash of excitement to the relationship and serves as a reminder to your partner that they're with someone special. Maintain elegance in your approach. Picture it like having an array of tempting appetizers on your plate, yet cherishing the main course with your current companion. For instance, in a conversation among friends, Liam casually mentions receiving compliments on his work performance from colleagues. Without boasting, he gracefully acknowledges the recognition in a positive and modest manner. This piques Maya's interest, prompting her to inquire further about his career aspirations. Trick number 6. Make them feel like the only one. Offer your crush your full attention when you're together, demonstrating genuine interest by actively listening, recalling details, and ensuring they feel acknowledged and understood. However, maintain a healthy balance by not neglecting your friends or hobbies. Showing that you can prioritize them while also nurturing your own interests outside the relationship is crucial. This fosters trust and deepens your bond. For instance, during dinner with Sarah, JN listens attentively to her anecdotes, poses insightful questions, and recalls previous conversations. While occasionally checking his phone for urgent messages, he promptly apologizes if it momentarily diverts his attention from her. Trick number 7. Mirroring and matching. Incorporating subtle mirroring of their body language, speech patterns, or humor can establish a sense of connection and rapport. However, it's important to avoid coming across as a creepy copycat, instead, let it happen organically and prioritize genuine connection over mimicry. For instance, during a conversation with Daniel at a party, Jessica observes his use of hand gestures and naturally incorporates similar gestures into her own body language. She also adjusts her speech tempo and volume to align with his, fostering a deeper sense of rapport and connection. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.